Thank you to Baksu for sponsoring this video. More on them later. There's a tiny spider. <laughs> I'm not afraid of spiders, but this one's jumping. Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reading vlog. It is an extremely sunny day. Spring is starting again. It just really feels like life is blossoming again and so am I. I really noticed how the sunshine, it's such a cliche, but I really do notice how the sunshine is just kind of getting me out of a rut again. And I'm very excited to to do stuff. <laughs> it is currently Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm very excited, I'm going to Rotterdam, a city in the Netherlands, to meet two of my other booktube friends, Britt and Michelle, and we're probably gonna go book shopping, and I really wanna take you guys along with me. It's a beautiful, huge bookstore that I haven't been to in a very long time, and it's beautiful, and I wanna show you guys. I really wanna try the upcoming week to really focus on getting productive again and spending my time also on things that make me happy and enjoy the sun and enjoy the outside and doing fun stuff um so i hope to share that i think i actually want to go outside for a bit because the weather is so nice i don't think it's very warm it's probably deceptive okay it's 11 degrees celsius outside so that's actually pretty decent and maybe we can like find a place to like sit and read um i think i want to listen to an audiobook but let's choose that right now because i need to find a new audiobook in my last video i talked about how i didn't finish gallon by v schwab which i still i might pick it up another time i still feel kind of guilty about it but i just really wasn't into it so i decided to do the correct thing and put down a book that i wasn't enjoying <laughs> but now we have to find a new one i think i'm gonna try a few things out i have beautiful world where are you by sally rooney which i still really want to read somehow this book is giving me spring vibes just based on the title i heard that it's also in the end a very hopeful book which i feel like is the vibe with the weather right now but then we also have extasia by claire legrand which i haven't heard anything about but I, it just got recommended to me on storytel and it's about a girl who joins a coven and it's a ya horror novel and it just i'm just curious to know if it's good so i might just start listening to it just to see if i like it i think you know what you know what i i think we're gonna do i'm well just hit my lamp sorry lamp i think i'm gonna go to the supermarket and get myself something to eat for lunch and then we're gonna find a nice place to sit and we're just gonna listen to an audiobook and enjoy the sun and the sounds of the outside world and have a wonderful time and just chill and then tomorrow we're gonna go book shopping and the rest of the week we're gonna get some work done and i'm very excited about this and i hope you are too but first i want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor which is boksu they are a monthly subscription service that delivers japanese snacks and tea pairings straight from japan to your door every boksu has a new theme so that you get a new gourmet journey through japan every month this month's theme was the sakura season and as you can see it is just so full of limited edition sakura themed snacks and candy and tea <laughs> Every year, Japanese cherry blossoms bloom all across Japan and people celebrate by gathering under the trees for hanami, flower viewing, and enjoying picnics together. With these trees, you kind of get to experience the sakura season at home. Somehow, it's kind of become like a little bit of a tradition amongst my high school friends that for birthdays or for like Christmas, we just give each other Japan-themed snacks and I love them every time. So this box 
makes me very happy and a little bit nostalgic also. I also really appreciate that they give you this little booklet with information on where in Japan the snacks are from and it also tells you whether the snacks are vegetarian or not and allergen information which I really appreciate because I don't eat fish or meat. That's really good. Mmm! If you want to have your own Sakura set innovation, get your own box and also support my channel, you can click the link in the description. If you use my code TheBookLeo, you can get $15 off of your first purchase. Thank you Boxo for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the vlog. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet again, <laughs> I don't have a bookmark for my book, so um, instead of making this mistake again and just closing it right now, let's pick out um, a bookmark. I keep my bookmarks in this really, really cute Groot mug that I got at Disneyland Paris. I usually want one that like fits the color of the cover. I think this one's nice. Yes! Great. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me for finally using a bookmark? So this is the book Ecstasia. I'm just gonna download it so I can listen to it while we walk. The cover looks very haunting. I am wearing a plain black turtleneck that I've had for as long as I can remember. A thrifted corduroy jacket moment. Um, and then I have a vintage, you can't really see that, vintage pet pants. And these really cute little daisy earrings. I do have to take off the jacket though, because it doesn't fit underneath my coat, unfortunately. It's a bit windy outside. So this book, Ecstasia, it's pretty fascinating. I think I'm gonna continue listening to it. I think it's gonna be about religious trauma. It's about this girl who her whole life she knew that she was going to become a saint in this small little town that she lives in. But more and more there are all these signs from the people around her and like visions that she gets that maybe she shouldn't become a saint and that it's actually a bad thing and that she's in danger if she really becomes a saint. Which she of course dismisses as the devil testing her. I'm pretty sure she is going to become a saint. There's gonna be a lot of emotional damage. Good morning. I'm having a very chill and slow morning and I'm actually going to leave soon because I'm going to Rotterdam city in the Netherlands to meet with Britt and Michelle, which I'm super excited about. We're gonna go just hang out together, which I haven't seen them in quite a while. We're gonna go for lunch and then we're gonna go book shopping, which I'm very excited about. I'm just finishing up my tea. When I wake up, I like to just jump into my comfortable clothes. I already put on the the turtleneck, but I like to just at least jump into my joggers. <laughs> um, so at least the first two hours of the day I'm comfortable. Um, but I have to pick out another pair of pants. This is my uh, pile of clothes that I can still wear. <laughs> I could go, usually I wear this, usually I wear this uh, turtleneck with the green pants to go for an all green look but 
I'm kind of feeling colorful today, so I'm gonna... Okay, let me just rummage through this. <laughs> you see, I don't have a chair in my room, so I don't have the chair with clothes, but I do have the couch with clothes. But I think I'm gonna wear one of my favorite pairs, this monkey corduroy wide leg pants to go for a slightly more colorful look. Okay, I'm gonna grab my coat. I put on my makeup. My nail polish matches my turtleneck. I have a color matched outfit. I'm wearing perfume. I haven't been this put together in weeks. Who is she? Who is she? Also, I always get a lot of questions about where I got my tote bag. I actually got this at the British Museum. It's from the British Museum and it is, this is um, a print of one of the paintings that they have over there. So what do I take with me in my bag? I mean, apart from the layer of random receipts, stuff and pens, I have my water bottle. Question, is this just a thing in the Netherlands? Because here in the Netherlands, almost every student has like one of these kinds of styles of water bottles, except in different colors. Are these a thing in other countries as well? The toppers, they're called. We gotta stay hydrated, so I take this with me. And then to read on the train to Rotterdam, I'm also taking with me A Certain Hunger by Chelsea G. Summons, which I'm still reading. And then I'm also taking my headphones because I want to listen to Bastille's new album. I'm actually going to see them in concert, which I'm very excited about because I've never seen them in concert. But I'm really enjoying their new album. Anyway, I gotta go catch a train. See you in the city. <laughs>
Okay, oh, I came back. It was a lot of fun. It was really nice to see them again. And it was so nice to just have so many books to choose from. But I already had one book in mind that I really wanted to buy. Oh, I really. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I kind of smashed it into the bag and now it's... Okay. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter. Books get a little bit beaten up once you read them anyway. But I bought Bunny by Mona Awad. I am actually kind of reading this book right now for another video and I had a copy from my housemate. So I kind of started reading it a little bit already for that video. This is her copy, but I actually enjoyed it so much. I'm only 40 pages in. I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to have my own copy so I can annotate because there were just a lot of passages that made me think, oh, I wish I could put a sticker on this, you know, or like maybe write a little line. So I just decided to buy my own copy, which I really want to read more books that I don't personally own that I am lending from a friend or lending from the library. But lately, every time I do do that, I like the book so much that I end up buying a copy of my own, which kind of defeats the purpose, but it, it just happened to to be like that. But I'm very excited to continue this. It's gonna be in another video. I know so many of you have told me that I need to read this because it's very dark academia, but also very unhinged and weird and bizarre. And I tend to like those kind of stories. So I'm happy I own this now. I also decided to go um, shopping afterwards alone, just having a little check. I didn't even intend to buy anything, but I just want to show you that I have been looking for a blazer for over a year now. And I've been looking at a lot of thrift stores, vintage stores, uh, just normal stores. And I just couldn't find anything that looked good on me in a color that I liked, but I got this one at Monkey. And I love it. I really do try to keep my shopping, especially my new clothes shopping to a minimum. Um, but this has been something that I've been looking for for a very long time. So I know I'm going to wear it a lot. And then I think it's um, a reasonable purchase. We love well thought out purchases on this channel. If you're wondering, Leonie, why are you doing your makeup when it's like eight in the evening? For the first time in two years, I'm gonna go to a cafe. And that's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. My student association has a book club this evening in a cafe. I didn't read the book. They read The Inheritance Games, but I didn't get around to reading it. Um, but I do want to join them just for drinks afterwards. I'm a little hesitant because I probably don't know like half the people there. Oh, I've been using the brown eyeliner. I didn't want that. Black eyeliner. <laughs> anyway, I decided to wear my cute jacket that I got yesterday because I feel very cool in it. Maybe it'll give me some confidence. <laughs> but yeah, going to any kind of social event that involves like not close friends is something that I haven't been able to do since COVID. And I noticed that not being able to do it for so long has kind of made me believe that I like forgot how to do it. I think other people can relate when I say that now, depending on where you're living, now that things are getting possible again and you can go do social stuff again it's like weirdly scary and i'm like i don't know how to do this anymore how do i interact with human beings that i don't know yet <laughs> on another note can someone explain to me why so much of the media that i've been enjoying recently includes cannibalism <laughs> like i started re-watching season three of hannibal so i can finally finish it i've also been reading a certain hunger by chelsea g summons and yesterday evening i watched the movie fresh with my housemates which was so good by the way i highly recommend just going into it without knowing too much about it but just trust me wonderful movie i loved it it is horror though so just, you do need to know that. <laughs> Very good, but yet another piece of media that includes cannibalism. Do I need to be concerned? Okay. Let's go.
was a lot of fun. I told them that I was reading a certain hunger and that it's a book about like a psychotic cannibal serial killer. So I bet I made a really good impression there. <laughs> Hi, it is a Thursday today. I just finished doing my work. It actually has been going quite well uh, for my internship. Lately, I feel like I'm really getting into the flow. I've been reworking a lot of the things that I also did at the beginning of my internship. And it's been really nice to look back and like the old code that I used back then and how I, it would be so long and so kind of convoluted and how I can now so easily make it way more effective and do it all way quicker and it's really nice to, I don't know, I guess like realize that you're actually getting better at the thing that you're doing. Um, but for now, I wanted to have a little, a little book chat plus uh, embroidering session. I bought this shirt a Sunday as well when I went to Rotterdam, mostly because it has a, like a really soft texture and I like the color, um, but I want to give it something interesting because it's plain. So I wanted to kind of do a little embroidering thing here. It needs to be something very simple because the fabric is very stretchy. So I don't want to put an embroidery hoop on it because I think that'll just stretch the fabric to no return. So I want to make something very simple that I can just like hand embroider. So I actually asked for some inspiration uh, on Instagram. A lot of people recommended to make like a little bee design and I really like that. So I think I'm going to start making a little bee design on here. And then when I embroider, we will talk about books. Okay, I decided to sit down here by the window because I need as much light as possible to actually see what I'm doing. It's pretty difficult, like it's very fine material, so I've I've made it difficult on myself. I've also made myself the cup of tea from the boxing box. This is green sencha tea, which if you've been watching my stuff for longer, you know, is like my favorite type of tea, but I'm really excited to drink one that's actually from Japan and not some kind of like a random Dutch version of the tea that I can find in the supermarket. It smells really good. I actually started listening to another audiobook again. It's not that Ecstasia isn't fun. It's not a bad book. It actually, I think it really has potential to be an interesting book. I just noticed that I wasn't, I never really felt the need to continue reading it. So I just don't think it's the kind of stuff that I feel like reading right now and I just want to be more lenient with myself with just allowing myself to stop listening to an audiobook or stop reading a book if I'm not really like super excited to continue. Like when you're really enjoying a book you know because you just are so excited to continue listening and I noticed with Ecstasia although I have nothing bad to say about the book I didn't really feel excited to 
continue reading, which I also haven't done. Um, so I just picked up another book. I think I'm just kind of at my limit with fictional stories since I'm also reading A Certain Hunger and Bunny. So I decided to pick up a, a non-fiction book and that has actually been going very well. I picked up Feminism is for Everybody by Bell Hooks. Like a few months ago, I actually started listening to another book of her, Ain't I a Woman, which was really good. Oh, I lost the thread. What happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> Which was really good, I just uh, hadn't finished it yet. Bell Hooks is a well-known feminist writer, also an academic, and she's written a lot of essays and books but with feminism is for everybody uh, which came out in the 2000s she says that she wanted to write a book about feminism that was not academic that would be accessible to anyone and everyone uh, even to people who think that feminism isn't for them and just give an easy to read overview of her like feminist theories and I thought I would listen to that first to kind of get an overview, kind of an introduction into her overall ideas before I continue with the rest of her work. And so far I really, really like it and I really, really appreciate it. What I really appreciate is that she really emphasizes the fact that men can benefit from feminism as well and that men should also be feminist and that it's not anti-men, it's just anti-sexism, which is something that men can benefit from too. And that also, of course, women can be sexist as well. So if you're a woman, that doesn't automatically mean that you're a feminist. And that there are, of course, many women that are otherwise detrimental to equality by being racist or classist. So I really appreciate her outlook on feminism. So I'm very excited to continue reading this book. Are the legs even? No, <laughs> they're not, but as long as they're the, the same size, I'm good. Yeah, I think it's good like this. I don't know if you can see it, but we have the little antennae and the paws, the two big paws. Mm. Wow. So that's what real sensha tea tastes like. Huh? I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. I've been kind of not really sure what to do with my vlog videos because I used to do a lot of just normal reading vlogs and I really enjoyed making them but I st kind of started focusing more on the vlogs with like a theme because people tend to have more interest in them but I also really like just once in a while doing a vlog like this that's just a little more casual no theme just chilling going through my days and taking you along and having little chats throughout the day uh, I'm really excited for next vlog where I will be finishing uh, A Certain Hunger and Bunny and one other book as well for a specific vlog and I'm excited to tell you guys my opinion on these books. If you enjoyed this video and you're not yet subscribed, you can do so so you don't miss any of the other ones. Of course, follow me on my social media if you want to see more stuff. And for now, I just really hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you soon in another video. Goodbye! <laughs>